Hello sisters and happy Easter time. In 2018, when we discerned the assembly theme, there was no such thing as coronavirus. There was certainly poverty, some familiar and some emerging, but not COVID-19. So we had no way of knowing then that our assembly theme, Ephata, break through the gates, go towards, encounter, would have to be redefined, re-explored and reinterpreted in order to be lived out in these very unexpected and strange circumstances. We had no way of knowing then that the virus would impact on all aspects of our lives and with such devastation on those who are already poor. We held our domestic assemblies in a largely pre-COVID world. But for many of us, provincial assemblies demanded a whole new ingenuity, technological expertise and virtual presence. Our general assembly has yet to take place, but we already know that IFATA is calling us to be open to unknown dimensions of poverty and to break through gates that we can't even identify yet in order to go towards and encounter whole communities of people emerging from sickness and grief, isolation and loss and so much more. For many of us, coronavirus lockdown has affronted our very identity as Daughters of Charity who come and go women whose cloister is the streets of the city and whose charism compels us, in the words of St Vincent, to run towards those who are poor, as if running to put out a fire, rather than to stay safe behind closed doors. And so we seek now to be open and to live a fata in the face of sickness and death, a fata in lockdown, Ifata behind a face mask, Ifata in virtual liturgy and sacraments, Ifata in Zoom and Meet and Skype and WhatsApp. In fidelity to our charism, we do continue to come and go. But for many of us, just now, through the streets of the city, is not possible. So we go via the highways of satellite technology to break through the gates and barriers of fear, despair and loneliness being experienced by so many. Efata too, in the humble telephone call or the simple card or message that offers encounter, support, sympathy and encouragement. And Efata in all the creative ways that you are discovering that let people know they have not been forgotten. During this month, we celebrate Paschal time and look forward to Pentecost. Traditionally, we build our General Assembly around the Feast of Pentecost and the whole company unites in praying for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the members and the work of the Assembly. This Pentecost, there is no General Assembly. This Pentecost, we are all at home in our provinces, scattered throughout the world but united in our experience of restriction and lockdown. This Pentecost, let's continue our tradition of praying together for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, as each of us in our own place and situation and each local community and province creatively continues to explore, define and live Ephata in and during COVID-19 and beyond.